Many, many years ago, in the time-forgotten kingdom of Sanya, a place of towering mountains and a sea so calm it mirrored the sky, there lived a sage. His name was Hypnus, and he was no ordinary sage. Hypnus was a man of deep wisdom, a wisdom that had the power to guide those who were lost in the labyrinth of sleepless nights. His stories, filled with magic and wisdom, were like a lighthouse for those seeking the treasure of a good night's sleep. This is one such story, a story that has been told and retold for generations, a story that still rings true in our fast-paced modern world. At the very heart of Sonia was a marketplace, a place that buzzed with life from the moment the sun peeked over the mountains till it dipped into the sea. The marketplace was a colorful tapestry of vendors, each selling their unique wares. Among these vendors was a young man named Morpheus, a potter by trade. Morpheus was known for his hard work and dedication, but he had a problem. Sleep, the sweet escape that everyone took for granted, was a stranger to him. His eyes bore the weight of countless sleepless nights, and his hands, the tools of his trade, would shake as he shaked the clay. Despite his best efforts, sleep remained an elusive dream. One day, driven by desperation, Morpheus decided to seek the help of Hypnus. He approached the wise sage and said, Hypnus, I am at my wit's end. Sleep eludes me. I am always tired, and it's affecting my work. Can you help me? Hypnus, seeing the sincerity in Morpheus's plea, agreed to help him. He began to tell Morpheus a story about a nightingale named Serenus. Serenus was known for her beautiful song, a melody so enchanting that it could soothe even the most troubled heart, but she only sang at night. During the day, she would seek the cool, comforting shade of the olive trees to rest and rejuvenate. Hypnus explained to Morpheus that just like Serenus, he needed to understand the importance of rest and how to achieve it. Firstly, Hypnus advised Morpheus to transform his room into a sanctuary for sleep. It should be as quiet and dark as the night when Serenus sang her beautiful songs. The room should be cool and comfortable, much like the shade provided by the olive trees under the hot midday sun. Next, Hypnus emphasized the importance of a regular sleep schedule. He explained that just as Serenus would begin her song with the rise of the moon, Morpheus should also aim to go to sleep and wake up at the same time every day. This routine would help regulate his body's internal clock and promote better sleep. Hypnus also cautioned Morpheus about his diet. He advised him to avoid stimulants like caffeine and alcohol, which could interfere with his sleep. Instead, he should include foods that promote sleep, such as almonds and chamomile tea, in his diet. Lastly, Hypnus suggested that Morpheus engage in some relaxing activities before going to bed. Just as Serenus would groom her feathers and prepare herself before her nightly performance, Morpheus could read a book or listen to some calming music to help him unwind and prepare for sleep. Morpheus took Hypnus's advice to heart and began to make changes in his lifestyle. Over time, he noticed that he was starting to sleep better. His constant tiredness was replaced with a newfound energy, and his hands no longer trembled as he crafted his pots, now shaped with steady hands and a clear mind, were the finest in all of Sanya. The transformation was so remarkable that people from far and wide came to see Morpheus's work and to learn his secret. And so, the tale of Hypnus and Morpheus spread, becoming a beacon of hope for countless others who were in search of a good night's sleep. But the story doesn't end there. As the tale of Morpheus's transformation spread, it reached the ears of the Queen of Sanya, the gracious Queen Luna. Queen Luna, despite her royal comforts, had been having her own battles with sleep. Intrigued by Morpheus's story, she invited him to the palace. With humble pride, Morpheus shared his journey and the wisdom Hypnus had imparted to him. Queen Luna listened attentively, her mind absorbing every word. Inspired by Morpheus's story, she decided to follow the same advice. She transformed her royal chambers into a sanctuary of sleep, 
established a regular sleep schedule, adjusted her diet, and engaged in calming activities before bed. So, if you find yourself tossing and turning at night, remember this story of Morpheus. Transform your room into a sleep-friendly environment, stick to a regular sleep schedule, be mindful of your diet, and engage in relaxing activities before bed. And hopefully, just like Morpheus and Queen Luna, you too will be able to enjoy the sweet embrace of a good night's sleep.